What's going on YouTube? This is JabberTech and I'm really excited today to show you the brand new enterprise level access point from GLINet. I'm going to set it up for you guys. I'm also going to do some speed tests, but this is a great way that if you want to blanket your entire network with some WireGuard goodness, some open VPN goodness, this is a great way to do it. If you're a consumer, don't discount this product just because you see the word enterprise. This is great at the consumer level. This is probably better than what you'll get from any other mesh network out there. So if you're looking to expand your home network into your yard or into the basement, into that top floor. I highly suggest that you get one of these access points as well. It's also great for the corporate individual that's looking just to extend their entire network. Not only does it blend in with just about any decor at your home, but it's also a way that you can blanket everybody with some wire guard or open VPN goodness and just keep your entire house protected without really having to change up a whole bunch of equipment. So again, I can recommend this at the consumer level. It's also great for the corporate individual that's looking just to extend their entire network. But I'm also excited because I did hear that they are going to release a new wireless broom gateway as well. That's something that I want to check out on my channel as well. So make sure to subscribe, leave a thumbs up and leave a comment down below if you're interested in me checking that out. But as of right now, I do have that broom gateway connected to an old Asus router that I have using as an access point. But now I can get rid of that. Now I can just connect the Cirrus to my broom gateway and call it a day. So that's why I'm excited. I'm also excited for that wireless edition. Again, I will be checking that out later on. But today it's all about Cirrus. So let's go ahead, unbox it and check it out together. The main things that you want to know about the Cirrus AP1300 is it can be used as a bridge, it can be used as an access point, it can be used as a router. You do have 2x2 MIMO support for dual band Wi-Fi. It is an enterprise level access point, but it also is perfect for the home environment. If you want to set this up, it is powered over Ethernet, so you can really just place it anywhere that you want. Place it on the ceiling, place it on the wall, and you're good to go. You get 2 gigabit Ethernet ports. You also have built-in watchdog support. You have an LTE backup option as well. You can go ahead and insert a nano SIM card and have that backup, or you can use it as its primary means to get access to the internet. You have a maximum of 25 megabits down for OpenVPN, but this also does support WireGuard, which is super awesome, and that'll give you a maximum of 192 megabits a second. If you don't yet have a VPN that supports WireGuard, check my link down below. TorGuard is the way to go. There's also dual band Wi-Fi with MIMO, so you're going to get some really fast download speeds. And it's just an awesome device that you can place anywhere in your home if you need to extend your network. Or if you're in that corporate setting, you can place these anywhere and make sure your VPN is up and running and securely connecting everyone to the internet. This is everything you get in the box, so you do get your bracket to mount this on the ceiling. If you choose the LTE edition, you do get antennas. If you don't choose LTE, it's just going to be this flush access point that you've probably seen in your gym, in your office building. Everywhere in the enterprise level, they usually just have a flush mount just like that. But I can't stress enough, guys, that even if you want to use this in your home environment, this is a perfect product just to place on your ceiling, on your wall, and just kind of have it blend in with your home. And thanks to the built-in VPN service, you can protect your whole house. So even though it is an enterprise level solution, this is perfect for the home as well. It's perfect for the consumers. Trust me when I tell you that this is a great solution to extend your home network. Other than that, guys, you get these nice little tweezers that'll help take out that nano SIM card. And even though it's powered over Ethernet, you can also just plug it in if you prefer to do that. Taking a look at the actual Cirrus product, they did a nice job with the actual design. Again, this is an enterprise level access point that's meant to just blend in and be out of sight, out of mind. Now, if we take a look at the ports on the back here, you'll see that you have two gigabit Ethernet LAN ports. One says WAN, one says LAN. You also get your SIM card slot right over here with a little reset button. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go ahead and turn this on. I have inserted my T-Mobile SIM card. We're gonna set this up using LTE and we're just gonna check out the speeds. Now, if you do use this with a VPN service, the max you'll get from WireGuard is 192 megabits down. And if you use OpenVPN, the max you'll get is 25. So I highly recommend WireGuard. And if you don't yet have a service that provides WireGuard VPN, check my link down below for TorGuard. It's an awesome service, very fast, as you'll see in just a second. But let's just go ahead, power this on and see what kind of speeds we get and just take a look at the interface together. 
This is speed test over 4G. I am using a T-Mobile SIM card. Now it might be about half of what I get on my phone, but it is not optimized like my phone is. This is a global solution to work on 4G networks all over the world. And for that, I think it does a pretty good job. And quite honestly, this is a lot faster than what I get personally in my house. So I think it does a good job. Taking a look at the speeds over ethernet, I do have a 100 meg down connection, but you can see when I activate WireGuard, the speeds are basically the same. So you do not lose much when you activate the VPN. That's always a great thing. You don't want to slow it down. And with OpenVPN, you're only getting a max of 25. So I recommend if you are picking this up and you do want to connect the VPN, use WireGuard, and you're going to see some really impressive download speeds. But I really commend GLINet for giving us a very, very fast access point. Again, this is an enterprise level solution. This is a really fast solution, whether you're using it at home or whether you're using it at the office. Taking a look at the Cirrus device, even though this is an enterprise level access point, setup is a breeze, setup is very easy, anyone can do it. Taking a look at the top, you have all the information about the Cirrus access point. So I am connected via the cable. If you're using this as a repeater, this would be lit up, or if you're using your modem, this would be lit up as well. You also can tell right away if your VPN is connected, and you can tell how many wireless LAN clients or how many LAN clients you have connected. Underneath is where you see information about your SIM card. You can also see information about your network that you're currently connected to. You can modify it and you can change it if you want to. If you want a static IP, you can go ahead and change that right there. Again, if you were using this as a repeater, you'd see all your information right down here about the network that you are repeating. Going into the wireless tab, you have settings for your 2.4 gig and 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi. And what I like about this device as well is you can set up a guest network for both 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. So meaning you can use this in a home setting, you can set up a guest network, and the same goes for the enterprise level. If you're using this in your shop, you can go ahead and create a guest network. This way you can offer free Wi-Fi to your clients and they won't have access to your intranet. Definitely an awesome feature. Switching the toggle to modify my 2.4 gigahertz network, you can change the name. So I'm gonna call this Jabber Tech. You can also change the security level right here. If you want it open or not, you can do so right there. Here's your Wi-Fi key and the default password is good life. So you definitely want to change that. If you want to hide your SSID, you can hide it in the settings right here. You can also limit the amount of wireless clients that connect to the Cirrus access point. And I think that's something pretty good. Again, for the enterprise level, this might be something that you want to do. You can change the Wi-Fi mode. So if you just want G, B or B, G, N, you can change that there again. This is basic stuff that you've probably seen in every router or access point that you've used. You can also limit the transmit power from max all the way down to low. So again, this is perfect for the enterprise level or even for the consumer level. If you wanna make sure that you're only broadcasting your Wi-Fi within your own shop, within your own home, you might wanna go ahead and change that to medium. And the same goes for your 5G settings. It's basically all the same thing. Now, if we take a look at the guest Wi-Fi options, you can change the name of your guest Wi-Fi. You can also change the security and the Wi-Fi key as well. Again, this is something very similar to any access point or any router that you've that you've come across in your past. Going into the clients tab, we have a couple options here. We also have some quality of service options, but you can see in real time how much information, how much data that your client is transmitting. And you can also set a limit for the upload speed or download speed for each client. Again, this is definitely useful in an enterprise or a consumer level. Clicking on upgrade, you can just have it automatically download and install new upgrades with the auto upgrade feature. You can also locally upgrade it if you download the firmware yourself, and then it'll just show you information about your current firmware. I highly suggest you just leave it on auto and it'll do its thing. Going into the firewall settings, you can set up port forwarding. You can also open up ports on the router and you can also have a DMZ host so that you can just give them unlimited access, open ports all the way around. This might be useful again for certain situations. Now going into VPN, there are a couple options here. Again, you can set up an open VPN client. You can also have it be an open VPN server. Same goes for WireGuard, but you cannot have both. So what that means is you can have an open VPN client and have a server running at the same time. You have to decide which one is best for you. If you don't yet have a VPN, I can highly recommend TorGuard. If you use my code down below, you'll save 50% off for life. So that means for less than a cup of coffee, you'll be able to protect yourself on a monthly basis. And the configuration tab is something that makes it very easy to do, very easy to configure. Just select Open WRT for the Cirrus access point. Go down to the server that you want to connect to. Let's go to USA New York. Click on Generate Config, and then you can download it right to your own Downloads folder. 
And now once you download the configuration, go back to OpenVPN Client, click on Add a New OpenVPN Configuration, click on your file that you just downloaded from TorGuard, it's going to upload it directly to the router, enter in your credentials, your username and password, click on Connect, and you're done. Simple as that. For WireGuard, it's also that simple. Thanks to TorGuard, all you have to do is go into the WireGuard network, then you can quickly download the configuration file. Once you download it, open it up in open WordPad, copy your configuration, go back to GLINet, give it a name. So I'm going to call this TorGuard Wire. And then you just want to paste in your configuration file. Now you have success. All you have to do is click on connect and it's going to connect to the WireGuard client. To start an open VPN server, it'll just generate the configuration file and you can give it to everyone that you want to connect to. But again, you can only have a client or a server running. You cannot have both at the same time. The next option that we have is the internet kill switch. And I usually keep this enabled. Basically, if your VPN goes down, so will the internet for all of your clients connected. You can also set up policies as well. So if you want certain devices to access your VPN or you want certain devices to access your WAN, you can go ahead and set up a policy to do that. You also have support for Tor, so if you want to enable Tor as well, you can go ahead and enable that on the Cirrus access point. Next we have Bluetooth, so for your internet connected devices, we do have a Bluetooth module in the Cirrus access point. If you go into remote access, you can enable Good Cloud, and this way you'll be able to see everything about your Cirrus access point from anywhere in the world. I think that's pretty cool, I think that's a nice feature to have. And we also have dynamic DNS as well, if you need that, you can go ahead and enable it. Because this is an enterprise level device, we also get a captive portal. So basically any guest that connects to your guest network will have to accept your terms. And you can also set a lease time as well. So if you want to boot them at a certain time, you can go ahead and boot them. Under more settings, there's really not all that much that I want to talk about. You can change your admin password. You can change your LAN IP. You can also create static IPs right on the bottom here. Here's your time zone. So if you want to switch up your time zone, you can click on that and do so. Next under Mac clone, this is a pretty good feature. Again, it's very important these days to really hide your Mac. A lot of people can do a lot of things with a Mac address. So if you wanna clone a Mac that's already connected to the Cirrus access point, you can do so, or you can just have it do a random Mac address. Again, I think this is very useful for a lot of situations. Here's your custom DNS settings. If you wanna put in a custom DNS, this is where you would do so. And you can override all DNS settings. So some devices like Chromecasts or certain TV boxes or whatever the case may be, actually point themselves to their home network, to their home server. And you can disable that and you can make sure that they go through your own DNS server. Next, under network mode, you can change what this router can do. It can act as obviously a router access point. It can be used as an extender or WDS. Going into the advanced settings, this is really for your network administrator to go through and kind of see what's going on with the access point. If you have a lot of other Cirrus access points connected, you'll see all of your stations right over here. And it'll just give you a real, real-time information about what exactly is going on. You can see about the real-time load, so you can see how many people are connected, how stressed your network is. You can change things like your LED configuration. Again, this is not something that most people will need to go into. But if you are a network administrator, you can go in here and you can change a whole bunch of different things if you need to. For the average person, for the average individual, for the average company, you just go ahead, plug this in, and it's going to work. Plug and play, super, super simple. That's how easy it is to get up and running with this brand new Cirrus access point from GLINet. I think it took longer to install the mounting screws than it did to actually set up the device. It really is that simple and it's a great way again if you are a consumer looking to just extend your home network or if you're looking to really blanket your entire home with some protection thanks to that VPN WireGuard or OpenVPN service. This is a great way to just add to your existing equipment without having to change a lot of things. Powered over Ethernet means you can place it basically anywhere in your house. You do not need an outlet. And that's just a great device to have, whether you're a consumer. And again, if you're an enterprise user, you already know this is an awesome device to have thanks to that LTE backup. You'll never be without internet. You'll never leave your guests without internet. If you're in a hotel, if you're in an office, this is just an awesome device to have. If you want to protect both yourself and your guests with some VPN protection, this is a great device. The range was great, setup was great. Everything about it was awesome. I'm actually gonna go ahead and purchase another one for my home because in the office, I'm getting some great download speeds. Thanks to WireGuard and thanks to GLINet. I always appreciate you watching. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time.